Priming is one of the most critical operations when you're loading your own ammo. This sensor catches issues as they happen. Gavin Gu here from UltimateReloader.com. I'm here with John Vlieger. We've been hanging out, making videos about the Apex 10. We are midway through a caliber conversion and maintenance filming session. We thought this is the perfect time to install one of the principal sensors, which is the primer orientation sensor. So, John, do you want to show us how this works? Love to. The primer orientation sensor is installed on any Mark 7 press, and it catches priming issues immediately after they happen. Saves you from wasting powder uh, and bullet on a round that's not going to work anyway. It's not to your spec. It's meant to detect high or too low, missing, or upside down primers. Also detects if a case isn't present and if the shell plate didn't index. So let me show you how it works a little bit here in the theory of operations. What we have here is our probe. This probe actually contacts the primer and it inserts through this bushing. So at rest, this probe is making uh, contact with the primer and it will modify the height of this seesaw, so to speak, based off uh, the depth of that primer or lack mm. of primer. We can set the sensor height after we have a, pr a properly primed case, put that case uh, in the station, and then we can just modify the height of our sensor cable itself so that the optical sensor in the sensor cable is seeing the little nipple sticking out of the fulcrum uh, when the primer is seated correctly. If that is not the case, the machine will not see that nipple on the optical sensor and it will stop the machine. But that's the simple operation of the primer O. We can get right into installing it. Let's do it. Installing the primer orientation sensor is extremely simple. Remove your existing spacer block from your primer housing, and this applies whether you have an Apex uh, Revolution or Evolution. With the two 964 bolts from underneath, that block pops out. Take our two springs, and you get extras because we're pretty confident you're going to misplace some <laughs> at some point. Uh, install those springs, the large one towards the front, smaller one towards the rear, with a light coat of red and tacky grease on them for lubrication. Install your sensor straight down on top of the probe, right here, and secure those two bolts underneath. That's simple. That's awesome. So why don't we finish putting the machine together for nine and we'll come back and see this orientation sensor in action when we're up and running. Prime orientation sensor has been installed. Mm -hmm. I'd like to talk to you about how we set it for our primer seating depth. So it's cool. not just a set and forget, you know, it's uh, for everybody uh, out of the box. Sure. You set it for the primers and primer seating depth you are using. Gotcha. So we, I've been through and set the primer seating depth with the caliber change to nine mm -hmm. millimeter. Mm -hmm. We have a properly primed case here. About five thousandths below flush or so, something yeah, like that. somewhere in there. Yep. Flush to eight thousandths as a SAMI spec, mm -hmm. you're somewhere in there. To set the sensor height, once we have a properly primed case, it's as easy as loosening these two three thirty second screws. Just loosen them so we can slide the sensor up and down. And then we're going to use this indicator pin. This is telling us where we are at with the case. Mm -hmm. And we're just going to move the sensor block until it is flush with that pin. Gotcha. So we can just give it a quick feel, snug it up, double check. Oh man, that is flush. There we go. Lock it down. Okay. And now we can test it. I okay. always advocate you test a sensor after you Absolutely. set it. Make sure it's doing what you want it to do. Let's do it. Okay. With any digital sensor, Gavin, you want to check it in the go scenario and mm -hmm. in the no-go. Yes. I want to know that it's going to let the machine keep operating when the proper condition is present, mm -hmm. and then stop the machine if a you know, bad juju happens. Sure. So in this case with the primer O, we have a prime case in the station. Sensor, I can turn it on or off. Green is on, black is off. Mm -hmm. And I can hit run. Let's do one cycle. No error message, right? Yep. I could see that pin poke up and then go back down. Exactly. Yep. We can take a look at it physically. Does that still meet your spec for primer seating depth? Looks like it, yep. Great. Well, we just verified the go. Yep. It would let us keep running. It's properly primed. We're good to go there. Now let's put a non-primed case, so it's a brand new, never had a primer in it. Yep. We can shove it in that same station, leave the sensor on, let's see what happens. Hmm. Huh, I hit run, nothing happened. It's because the sensor detected a lack of primer. That mm -hmm. probe is sticking up so high in the flash hole, mm -hmm. it's reflecting to the sensor cable, and says, hey man, there's no, there's no uh, primer there. Primer orientation sensor notification, case not present or primer not seated properly. Gotcha. So it comes up on the screen, stops the machine. Mm -hmm. In order for you to keep going, you have to hit OK, correct the issue, and then hit run, or you can turn the sensor off 
if you saw it coming, like you were end ending your run and mm -hmm. you're not planning on putting a case back So in. if we have a primer that's upside down, the anvil's mm -hmm. going the wrong way, obviously, yep. and that rod's gonna go too far down into exactly. the pocket. Yep. Mm -hmm. And it's gonna re reflect on that, or if there's no primer, or if the primer's really proud, like let's say you primed a, uh, a ring ringed case, case mm -hmm. that did not have all the primer get kicked out, it right. would go off in that scenario as well. Yeah. So it reminds me a lot of a powder check, right? Yeah. If there's no powder, too much powder, it's gotta be within a certain window mm -hmm. to pass each exactly. time. That's awesome. Well, thank you for showing us the primer orientation sensor. I will note that we've got a few more sensor videos that covered individual parts of the auto drive system. So check those out. Drop a comment if you have a question and we'll start a discussion. That concludes this video and that means it's time to wrap it up. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Also, we're on Facebook, YouTube, Rumble, where we've got unrestricted content, and Instagram. Make sure to follow us on all those channels. Ultimate Reloader also has a commercial solutions division serving law enforcement, the military, and the gun industry. We have some unique capabilities, including a comprehensive suite of recoil testing and evaluation capabilities, trigger profiling, and more. If you're interested in custom rifles like what we build here on the channel or gunsmithing services, you're gonna to wanna to go to rifles.ultimatereloader.com and get on the wait list. If you're interested in becoming a professional gunsmith, check out the Sonoran Desert Institute. They've got a degree program, they've got a certificate program, and you can study from home. Learn more at sdi.edu. Thanks again for watching.